I've got a couple of snippets from Bower's book before I start. So her childhood friend, Ninaki Pretty, said, Megan was calculating, very calculating, in the way she handled people and relationships. She is very strategic in the way she cultivated circles of friends. Once she decides you're not part of her life, she can be very cold. Her ex-husband Trevor, this is just after the divorce, he told a friend that domestic life with Megan, actually no, this would have been uh, after Megan got married to Harry. He told a friend that domestic life with Megan bore no relationship to the demure young woman who fluttered her eyelids on TV screens. Marrying a mercurial, dramatic, shouty, and difficult actress who demanded a role in his films had been a challenge. I'm talking about my personal experience and how some people have similar characteristics to people I know. I'm not calling anyone a narcissist or a psychopath as I'm not qualified. Maybe there's history on it. I don't know. It's just my opinion. However, I do want to warn people when I say they will do anything, narcissistic psychopaths. They really will do anything for the most petty reason. I think it's only when you've known somebody, a family member, or a partner who is truly a narcissistic psychopath. Only then you can see it easily in others. So many people say, no, they wouldn't do that, or it's illogical, why on earth would they do that? I can see straight past all of that, because I've seen it before. I've seen someone do outra outrageous things because of a perceived slight. Even when I told friends about this person, it was only after meeting that person that they'd say, oh my God, I knew it was bad, but I had no idea how bad. They all thought I must have been exaggerating because... It's crazy behaviour. And that's what I see in Nutmeg and Miss Turd, who both allegedly use boozy. Birds of a feather flock together. Lie down with dog and you'll get, off, get up with fleas. So, if allegedly this pair happened to be narcissistic psychopaths who would stop at nothing, they'd need to hire people who are willing to do things that most people just wouldn't do. Make of that what you will. Narcissistic psychopaths are, in my opinion, a lot more common than people think. After you've had the misfortune of having one in the family or as a partner, you can see one a mile away. You see the family going through the why on earth did they do that phase. From what I've observed, having one as a close family member, the way they see the world is that there's them and all the other people in the world who are almost not even sentient beings. They are there to praise the psychopath narcissist. They are an audience. This includes family members. The narcissist psychopath will always put what strangers think of them 
before their own child's immediate needs. Another use narcissist psychopaths have for other people is for them to be servants. This could be a partner or a so-called friend. The, nar the psychopath narcissist will choose a people pleaser. The chosen servant will never be able to please this particular person and will inevitably get markled. The narcissist psychopath will find another partner or friend and so the circle continues. When the narcissist psychopath is told no or exposed, they are vicious, explosive and dangerous. Never underestimate them. In their minds, we are just things to be used and trodden on if necessary. They never give up and they hold a grudge forever. Nighty night, don't let the squad bite.